Let's talk about some of the considerations of this we use SX Tools programming software. Nowadays, very popular upgrades are this 300 BHP engine computer flashing with engine power upgrade. We can say it here even if we walk away. You can also search for engine computers here. I think it's called power. Powertrain is our engine computer PCM and then in the vehicle functions menu Read the module information which I did not install. Ah, hmm. And then we find other other modules to demonstrate, just roughly speaking. 1726 is our PCM address. Read the module information here. This is the place where we have some software on the car, including the car part number, and then the hardware number. One by one, it's the hardware number. It's the hardware number. It's the hardware number. And then 188 is the bottom data, even if it's 12124, these data. And then the middle. This is the module. What AVS numbers can be flashed with this module? Here's all the ones you can flash up on. And then this place after the back is the current AVS number for this module. Well, some cars don't show up because sometimes our hardware number changes and then we swipe a different software number. Because some of the modules are generic so that this thing does not say exactly this thing. This place on the current does not say exactly is accurate. It's not that there isn't any. There isn't necessarily any. Then we see which number we go to paint. We determine the... And then here we pick MDR. Let's make an analogy and then... If you want to paint this number, select and load it. Then this place will not show then tap under the online AVS. Note that this place of attention is noted. Be sure to see this all files have been loaded, can be swiped and written. So we can swipe and click on this one signature swipe. Write once and then brush right, just click and then start to flash. Then there is also a place where we can also in this other kinds of flash software way, it we can also in this input. Arguably, Let's start by entering an LKLK without flashing some, because some things, some AVS numbers are not and are not universal. We're going to be basically based on the factory configuration, or we need to modify the US. Determine the number to flash, not to blindly flash, because some modules program on different software, it will cause not communicate with the... And then click online and the program doesn't have it. Let's take this 300 horsepower one and compare it to the MX-63. One zero K. Hyphen Bav. It's a 300 horse software number over here and then dots and wires online. Then we'll go back to the flash, tap it again, and it refreshes, and then we'll start flashing. Then there's another way to replace it or update it. Let's go ahead and look up the CCF car's factory configuration. This car family number is the default point and click. It is based on BCM's car family number too. Click query factory configuration and you will see the... What number does it ship with? You're like this BCM, it's factory AA. We've got available AA, AV, AC, AD, AE. The latest, usually we choose the latest to flash the line. 
Like other modules, uh, DEDM are the same. Basically, the newest ones usually go for the newest flash-ups. Especially this 300 horsepower engine computer. We have to get the latest model because some of them are prone to problems and will light up the engine trouble light. Let's take a look at this situation. Pick the latest OK and load it. This is the place where it automatically downloads. It shows that all the files are complete and ready to be flashed. We just tap on the flashing button. The other is some small function fuel pump enable. Uh, we are using to change to use to this change new BCM. The new BCM. It needs to start the fuel pump. This water pump to enable this kind of is our new car. Some cars is to change the engine computer. Need to be done. The engine configuration is also a new engine. Other small features. Take a look at a very simple thing. And then this. Module calibration. These things are based on the actual... Do this ABS! Other, other, we do not have anything on. There is an infotainment host to flash, write host to brush, write words is IMC update. We do a good job. IMC USB flash disk. Make the IMC flash drive and plug it into the car. Just tap IMC to update directly. This is where it shows up to tell you. I told you to get the USB flash with infotainment database plug it's in the car. It's not plugged into the computer. On the other hand, it should also be noted that the driver update positioning repair of these three need to plug the USB to the car. On this, these two functions are... We convert the protocol itself. Our IMC can be like HP's, a host differential six-thirds. And that FW nine thirds can be common to both the new platform and the old platform. We just need to transfer the protocol. I'm going to propose that a transfer agreement like HP's LAs can be used on older cars. On this, there is also this IMC to DVP protocol is the old car to convert the protocol to choose this. Choose this thing to flash. It can be used to use the new car. This RMC opening desk is the engineering mode. RCCM update is also the same as the IMC need to plug the USB flash drive into the car. Just make sure to click on it after you've made sure you have a USB flash drive with the correct disk image files in the car. Just wait until it's done flashing to say a few words about this RCCM update. RCCM updates. We default to the latest. This 188 is the name of the file on our flash drive. Word the name of our USB flash drive file. This is BB name you choose. RGS. RBS, you pick BP again. You'll have to put BA on the corresponding flash drive. If you choose TZ, you have to put this BX on the USB flash drive. Places must be aware that some cars we go to brush TZ. A lot of cars can't be painted over now. We go for a relatively high version of BP or Boo Boo is up to date. Alternate. This Ethernet list is the place to get the information on our cars. This Ethernet module on this car. You can go ahead and send the functions command. That's basically it. Trouble code diagnostics this panel. There's not much to tell about this place in terms of selection modules. Tell me about this. This Ethernet modules... Fault code reading Ethernet module reads the faults of the whole car module. It doesn't read it. We have to go to a separate selection of modules to go to... Red, we read it. I have this one to read it alone.
and then we go to the full vehicle configuration. No, because this way of communication is not the same as these previous modules we have. Now there is a district. That's why we have to select the module individually in order to read the module's fault codes. Other places like this we don't even get on. The easiest way will be using our JLR ENET adapter plug and play. If you don't get in the car, this place is basically a default. Don't touch it. Failed to connect when not connected to the car. Failed to connect. We're elsewhere. Open the network adapter. We can then see this Ethernet. Have, I'm not sure if this car is connected. Look at this VCI. This one's original to us. Seeing this shows unrecognized network. If the car is connected, it's plugged in. But if it's unplugged, it's disconnected and not connected to the car. I'm going to check the connection between the car and the computer. The method of connecting. And then that connection connection includes this change change, this configuration. Some cars cannot be connected, show unrecognized, and also cannot be connected. A lot of times, it is the... This one. This one. The problem with the network card, and then you go and change the distribution of this configuration. Go look to change this IPVIV. This place must be automatically obtained, cannot be said to be manually entered. This IP address must be automatically obtained. Then tap advanced. This place. Tick off the auto crossing checkbox and lose a little bit. In this case, it will usually be connected. There is another situation is that we have other network card effects, such as the original factory of this. Material? We'll just disable it. That'll connect all of them. No matter what win win he is, this option can be seen. Network adapter. If you can't connect, you must check whether the network adapter is recognized or not, or the easier way will be using our JLR Ethernet Wi Fi adapter. Is it display normally or not recognized, or maybe being unplugged? Thank you for watching, that's all for today. If you want to learn more, please visit our website at https jaws x-tool.com.